Hey, what's up, guys? Just wanted to do a quick video that you guys take a look at where we're at today. We're at Book Off Super Bazaar, Center Akita, Japan. Cool thing about this store is this store is actually really, really big. Um, it's got a bunch of clothes, got a bunch of uh, handbags, stuff like that. But this is why we always come here. We always come for the games. Had a big selection of Game Boy games here in the store this day. There you saw Penguin Land or Pingu Land. This one right here looks like uh, it's Castlevania. It's the very first Castlevania. Uh, 891 yen. That's close to nine dollars. Say like 850 or so. I don't know exactly what the exchange rate is currently. Looks like we got Pokemon Silver. 110 yen, guys. Pokemon games for less than one dollar, or right at one dollar, one way or the other. Still, those games are really cheap. Pokemon Red, looking clean, looking brand new, almost for about, like I said, one dollar, guys. Looks like we got a Tetris game, the original Tetris again, selling for a dollar. Every game in here, except for every now and then, you'll find a rare one. That's a little more expensive. That was Donkey Kong Land for about a dollar. So Donkey Kong Land, Pokemon games, there you see a bunch of uh, Super Famicom games. A whole bunch of Super Famicom games in the box. Uh, directly beside them you got Super Famicom games that are loose. But this looks like mostly Super Famicom games. Got a couple of N64 games there at the bottom. But, uh, back to some Game Boy. Pokemon Blue, 110 yen. Sorry about the camera angles. Uh, looks like we got some Sega Saturn up there on top. Look at those dirty shoes that I'm wearing. Oh my gosh. Dirty, sh dirty shoes, guys. This is why we do videos, so that we can afford to uh, buy new shoes. Sorry about the camera angle. You can see I'm still searching through uh, Game Boy games here. Got a bunch of Game Boy games though, but found a lot of Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, I actually was going to go pick up this Pokemon Blue. Had to go grab a basket because there's so many things that I wanted to look through. Get a little bit of a peek of the Switch, PS4, PS Vita, PSP, all those sections. Yeah, but we always go right back down to the old software. It's one of my favorite areas to be. Do love the old software, man. I really do. Uh, speaking of old software, Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Famicom, Super Nintendo in America. About a dollar. Looks like Donkey Kong Country 3 as well. About a dollar. So this show, this, uh, this store has a bunch of games, man. That was a baseball game, look like. Maybe one dollar. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, about a dollar. Good shot of uh, up my nose. There you go, Donkey Kong. So for about three dollars, I could complete the Super Family uh, Famicom collection, if you will, of Donkey Kong games. You know, how cool is that? So you got a Star Fox. That one was a little bit more expensive. Star Fox runs anywhere from one to five bucks. That one was five. Oh, cool, like a Batman Returns. You don't see this one too often. That's kind of cool. That one might come home with me. Uh, 510 yen, about four bucks. Uh, looks like Breath of Fire 2. You know. Uh, downside to getting all these games back in the day. Ooh, F0, 510 yen. A lot of the games that we played back in America, like Breath of Fire, um, Chrono Trigger, Dragon's Quest, all those games... They're very, that one's two bucks, man, Jesus. They're very RPG oriented, so if you can't read Japanese in the old school systems, you can't change it to English. So that does make it a little bit difficult. It's not too big of a deal breaker, especially if you remember how to play the games. Um, Pokemon games, I remember how to play most of them, so I just go by memory for the most part. But if it's a game like Breath of Fire, Dragon's Quest, um, you know, any of the real big RPGs, 
Oh, look at that final fight too. 510 yen, bro. What a good deal. What a good deal. This book off has done nothing but treat me well. Um, it's actually maybe five minutes from my house. And fun fact, um, this is actually inside of a mall here. And inside of this mall is the only Taco Bell in all of Yokohama. Mega Man X2. That's a good buy. 510 yen, less than five bucks. Look at that, I found the Rockman section. Rockman 7. So, Rockman is Mega Man, for those that don't know. Um, I don't know how you could miss it, seeing the giant Mega Man logo on the front. Can't beat them, though, for about 510 yen. What game is this? I can't even see it. I'm not sure. Just thumbing through some games real quick. Nothing too special over here. Found another copy of F-Zero. Just thumbing through, making sure that there's nothing that I, I don't have. What is this game? I can't tell. Just kind of thumbing through. Saw another Star Fox in there. Yeah, most of the games, they're kind of hit and miss. Move over here, check out some of these Sega Saturn games, see what they got here. It's looking like, ooh, what is this? This is Vampire... Is this Vampire or something? It's Darkstalkers! Darkstalkers Returns, I believe, is the name of it. Uh, the name of the game is something. It's uh, Puyo Puyo Sun. It's a good, good little uh, puzzle game, if you're into puzzle games. That was Vampire Hunter. Darkstalker's Revenge is the name of that game that I was looking at. Eve, the last one. Good game. All these games running for right at around five bucks. Some of them, you know, a dollar or two. But I think pretty good prices for the most part. Gonna take a look down here. See what we got in these boxes, man. As you can see, they have a lot of loose Game Boy games. They have a couple in the box, but a lot of loose games. You got all kinds of games over here. You got Game Boy, Famicom, Game Gear. Some Game Gear boxed Game Gear games. You don't see these too often. I can't exactly read Japanese, but got a couple. Got a couple of uh, boxed Game Gear games. You don't see those too often, though. What is this? Niniku, I believe. I might have read that wrong. But, uh, yeah. Got a couple of uh, Game Gear games loose. You don't see Game Gear games too often out here. You got Wonder Boy, 510 yen. Good purchase. Uh, Jurassic Park, 1164. And if you didn't know, Bare Knuckle 2 is actually the music at the beginning of this video. One of my favorite games ever, and uh, yeah, we love it. Skip on ahead real quick. Let's go over to the GameCube section. Found us a Smash Brothers 14. What is that? 14 Smash Brothers DX. It's Smash Brothers Melee in America. Uh, 1437. So maybe about 13 dollars. Pretty good prices. Uh, a lot of baseball games on the GameCube. Every now and then you'll get lucky, and you'll find some really really cool games for not too crazy expensive, but not so bad. Biohazard 2 on the GameCube, about $25. 2,710 yen, about $25. Nothing too extravagant. Biohazard 4, 464 yen. Resident Evil 4 for less than $5, guys. It's such a good purchase. I can't imagine picking up a Resident Evil game in the States for, you know, less than five dollars. I, I think it's absolutely insane. Got a big section of Wii U, got a bunch of, uh, got a bunch of games over here, man. Looks like we got Bomberman Land 2, 3819. It's a little bit expensive for a Bomberman game, but, uh, Bomberman sells really, really well over here, and there's not a lot of them, so... Look at this uh, crazy tiny Xbox section. It says Xbox 360, but it actually has Xbox One, original Xbox, and Xbox 360 games all in the same area. There's your tiny little Xbox One section. 
real, real tiny. Nothing too uh, extravagant in here. Uh, I can't really see the games. I'm trying to look at them really quick. Let's see if I can find one of them. Oh, it's the the division. Okay, gotcha. Tom Clancy's the division. No kind of you know special Japanese only. Uh, this is the uh, the Cero Z area. Those are the adult only games basically. Got PS4, Nintendo Switch, Wii, Wii U. These are some of the collector's editions that you get to see out here. You don't see a lot of collector's editions, but every now and then you find some really cool ones. This one, Blair Witch for the PS4. I missed how much it was. How much was this? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> I want to say it was like 1400 yen. This one's cool, man. Seaman on the PS2, 1437. It was a Dreamcast. Like, everyone on the Dreamcast had this game. But... I remember it being a really, really fun game to play. I remember it being a really fun game to play around with. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, this is a Wii and DS router. Kind of nifty. All these games right here, these are all Pokemon games. Pokemon on the DS, two or three big rows of just Pokemon for days. Can't really complain. You know, there's so many freaking Pokemon games. They, they went from black and white, blue and yellow, green, purple, shapes, colors, fucking everything that you can imagine, man. There's something for everyone in those games. Moving on, we're over here. We're into the new section. You don't really see... I don't really go to the new section very often, but... You got a couple of used consoles, a couple of new consoles. Looks like they got a, looks like they got a uh, switch up there. A couple of switches. Moving on, we're over here at the. Uh, these are the the hidden bins. They keep some of the games down there that they don't want people to find. Legend of Zelda 2, Legend of Zelda. Call it the Hyrule Fantasy Famicom Disk System. $14 and $13 respectively. Set those right there for maybe a later date. I might pick those up. Who knows? Go check and see what's in this one. Ooh, we might have hit the mother load. That is a Wii fighting stick. You don't see Wii fighting sticks. This is a clone console. A yeah, Wii fighting stick, man. That's really cool. I kind of want to pick that up. Is that a Wii? Is that a Wii U? It is. It's a freaking Wii U. Holy shit. Okay. 3,080 yen to a Wii U for less than $30? Is it complete? Yeah. I think it's complete. It says that it's okay. So, again, I can't really... There's all the wires. So, I think we're good. That's a really, really good buy. I'm really into that. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, just a couple of little PS2 games. Nothing too special. Always gotta look around, man. Hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the earphones. Earphones in the shot. A bunch of PSP games. Uh, nothing down here. Okay. You always gotta check these, man, because sometimes they have good games down there. There's some Vita games down there. But, um... Yeah. With that, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and Get ready to end this video. It was really cool uh, walking around and showing you guys what we got, man. So I appreciate you guys being here, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.